perfect. Some, some difficulties in life, you know, yeah. going to different places for food, for football. And um, yeah, afterwards you come back, uh, sometimes you eat, sometimes it was difficult to, to get something. But yeah, like I said earlier, I enjoy every bit of it, you know. And here I am today to thank God for everything. Perfect! Um, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been difficult. Uh, not easy, but you know, anything you do, you have to believe. Uh, of course, uh, keep praying, keep working hard. Yeah, in, in life, you have to search different situations to make it in life. I was playing in a job, you know, people were like, uh, he's a good player, he's a good player. And then we played a little competition uh, in a job, and uh, some some scouts came, not international, but like some local government scouts, you know. And he was like, okay, I think he, he got something. And he came to me, he was like, he got a friend, uh, Academy, Liberty, Google, that he would like me to go there. For, for trial there, you, you, you have an um, opportunity to travel, you know. I was like, okay. But the truth is that, my brother, it's much easier to travel from your own country than this country people are talking about because exactly. I've been there. You know, when wow. you're in your own country you hear that it's easier to travel from Togo, Abidjan, Ghana, this but I think your own country is much better because I was there. I was there for almost um almost one year or something. Wow. In it's, Togo. Yeah in Togo. Eight months, one year I was there, you know. It wasn't like, you know, everybody was thinking it was tough. The training was tough. And yeah, the situation was not that good but it was okay you know so i was there then after eight months or something i, I came back home and i said to myself oh i'm not going back here again and i don't think this the the, the right place you know, for me so so i was back home continue playing you know struggling striving going from one place to other transportation from home that <laughs> sometimes that got tired, that got a little bit pissed. Uh, he was like, You've been going every day to play football, you're coming back with nothing, this and that, you know. Uh, you get, so it was um, it was a bit tough. Uh, I got to a point that was like, Hey, you have to go get something to do, <laughs> you know. So I was frustrated, but you know, I, I keep focused. You know, mom was supporting, dad was also supporting, but you know, man, yeah. at the point, is, uh, you know, they wanted to bring something as a man home. But I was like, ah, Dad, no, I don't know what to say. I will keep pushing. But at the point, I also thought of it. What he was saying was kind of right. Um, so I thought of going to try something. But at the edge of me thinking about it, then I met uh, one of my coach. I also played uh, under him, young star coach as well. And um, it was like, uh, I need to go to Dede for. For, for trial or something and he met actually met me on my way to see if i could get something doing oh, wow. you know i was like sure of course why not that was how i i went to a day and, and yeah so that was how it all started from a day to into perfect perfect yeah, it was um, it was the point where that started uh, disturbing, frustration started coming in, and yeah, Paul, 
you have to get something to do. I'm tired of giving you transport, this, that, and you're going, you, you're coming back with nothing. Go learn something, and at least you know that is the handwork you, you, you have, you have doing. But yeah, like I said, I was about doing that, but you know, football is what I love doing. Wow. I still, you know, keep pushing with football, and you know, we got help, and luckily I came across. Uh, my coach with us at home, which I've played in his team to look star, so yeah. Perfect. 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 Definitely, it was a good day. Uh, I went there, you know, as a player in Nigeria as a whole. When you hear of a good day, then you start getting scared because <laughs> of the training and all that. But yeah, I was there. It was very tough at the first. Um, the training was very tough for me. The first. You know, training they did was like so difficult and all that. I couldn't meet up, so they had um, some uh, little break, this uh, Muslim break, yeah. and you know, the owner Churchy gave us a holiday to go home. But you know, I took it upon myself. I said, Paul, if you really want to go to Denmark or go to Europe, I don't think it's a good idea for you to to go home. Mm -hmm. Then the rest of the day, they left for holiday. And then I, I was um, alone in the camp with you know maybe two or three of my friends and I was you know doing this running the God Temple. I was doing this running myself, you know, doing it, you know. And all that left for holiday we were enjoying then before they came back and we started running then I think from there I was only top five, top three, top four. So I think that was how I got into the system and I got more confident and yeah. Started playing and yeah. Maybe that was the turning point for me. And then you moved to Europe, Denmark. It must have been a big culture shock. A boy from the streets of Lagos suddenly finds himself in the beautiful streets of Europe. How was the experience like when you first landed in Denmark? It must have been a dream come true. Yeah, it, it was. It was a dream come true because, um, you know, Joe, like I said earlier, some of the players have been going to NBA this sometime. For trial, some of my my friends, my mm -hmm. teammates are training together. But you know, sometimes what they do is like they go behind, they choose some of themselves. Okay. They won't let wow. some of us or let me know that they're going to a beautiful trial wow. because at a particular time they call them for trial. They'll go. I don't know what was happening then. It was after they've been there and they came back and they would tell me like uh, they've been to a beauty. Some people would tell me these people have been to a beauty day, but you know they didn't make it. You know so. For me, I just went there and yeah, I think I worked hard and um, from there to Midland, yeah, I think it was it was a great turning point in City Dates. Um, yeah, it's been incredible with hard work, with prayers, yeah. you know, with of course being humble, like, you know, yeah, just keep working and the work will speak for you.